Hey everybody, this is gonna be the third and final video in my security uh, playlist. I'm gonna go over some of the weapons that I have, the reason why I have them, why I think you should have them. Most of y'all out there probably have already got weapons, uh, but if you don't have these or some of the uh, accessories, you may want to think about getting them at this point, if you can. Uh, but it's going to be very basic, uh, four basic groups. I'm just going to give you the how-tos and uh, the whys, basically. All right. Now, the, uh, the first thing that I want to tell you about guns is always practice gun safety. The utmost importance. I don't care how long you've been shooting guns, owning guns, having guns, around guns, in guns, out of guns, whatever. All right. Practice gun safety. Accidents happen. You don't believe me? Go back on my channel and look. All right, the first category is gonna be your personal defense weapon. The weapon that you're gonna carry on you, keep with you. Uh, mine very rarely leaves my side. Uh, so it's gonna be a handgun. And uh, this one in particular is a CZ SPO-1 Tactical 9mm. Uh, if you're going to buy a handgun, what I can tell you is buy one that fits your hand, all right? You don't necessarily need the biggest caliber, the best brand name, blah, 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 whatever. Go to the store, pick it up, hold it in your hand, actuate the weapon, be sure that you can actually operate it, all right? It's good to have night sights uh, so that you can see at night. It's nice to have a rail if you wanna mount a flashlight or a laser or something. This one in particular has a decocker on it. It holds 19 in the magazine and one in the chamber. So you got 20 rounds and I carry a couple of extra clips with me wherever I go. Nine millimeter, all right guys, that's the important thing. Nine millimeter and the gun fits your hand. If you're a small person, you probably don't wanna be shooting a Colt 45. If you're a big guy, you probably don't wanna be shooting a 22 long rifle, all right? Get a gun that feels comfortable in your hand. It doesn't have to be a certain brand name, doesn't have to be a certain price, blah, blah, blah. Get one that fits your hand and feels comfortable. You're gonna know it when you pick it up, all right? Nine millimeter. A lot of talk out there. Nine millimeter, 40, 45, 357. The list goes on and on and on, all right? Everybody's got an opinion. Everybody's got a preference. I choose nine millimeter. This round will kill anything you need to kill if you can hit what you're trying to hit. This is the most common round for a handgun sold in the United States, nine millimeter. This is a NATO round. Many countries use this round. If there's ever a gunfight that goes down, chances are you are going to find some of this ammo around that location. Very common. The most popular handgun round sold in the U.S. You're going to be able to find it. It might not be on the shelf right now. Later on, scavenging, scrounging, picking up, you will find this round. 9mm NATO. Uh, for our use around the house, again, kind of up close range, nothing too far. You always see me use it before out here. This is my 12 gauge VR60. It is an AR platform, as you can see. Magazines, these come in capacities up to 19 rounds. There are some drums out there that you can retrofit to this gun. This one uh, has chokes in the end out there, so I can change pattern. We got a flashlight and a laser here. Also a red dot scope. In case I'm out around the animal pens at night, etc. This is just a great predator gun to have. Uh, like I said, you can get a pretty wide pattern on it. Covers a large area. Uh, lots of rounds in there. So, uh, not very expensive. I like the platform. Again, modeled after the AR. 12 gauge gonna be the most common round that you're gonna find guys all right 12 gauge shotgun these come in all different kinds of platforms varieties shapes sizes colors all right again get one that you like but 12 gauge is gonna be the way to go this load comes in many different forms slugs buckshot birdshot 
on and on and on, all right? We can get into ballistics on a different video. The R60, 12 gauge. Now for a, a little longer range, most of you are probably familiar with this platform. This is the uh, AR-15, basically. All right. This is calibered in a 5.56. Again, I won't get into ballistics too much, but this gun will shoot a 223 caliber round as well. But the AR-15, the 5.56, probably gonna be one of the most common rounds that you're gonna find. This is also a NATO rifle, all right? Many countries use this round. Again, a lot of discussion out there. 5.56, 308, AK-47, blah, 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 blah. Everyone has an opinion. Everyone has their own idea of the best thing. I chose it because it's a good platform. The U.S. military uses it. The round is very deadly, very accurate, and very fast. It will do the job that you intend for it to do. This particular weapon has a FLIR mounted on it, which is a forward-looking infrared. Anything with body heat, any kind of heat signature, I can see it in the pitch of darkness with this scope. Automobile, Predator, whatever it may be. You can look at the walls in your house and find hot spots, all right? Thermal, need to pick up heat. This is a game changer at night. Very few people uh, will be able to avoid this infrared. 16 inch barrel with a suppressor. Standard 60 round magazine. Everything I own is legal. I got my federal tax stamps, blah, 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 blah. Guys, if you want these accessories, you need to buy them. Pay the extortion fee, pay the tax stamp fees, whatever you need to do, get these accessories and add them to your weapons. Every advantage that you can give yourself, you need to do that. They're not cheap. A lot of them can't be gotten right now. Wait times are outrageous. Go ahead and do it. Get these things. They give you tactical advantage in many situations, all right? Again, 5.56 five, NATO rounds. That's the important thing. <clears throat> now, whatever's happened, you have to leave wherever you're at. You can only take one gun with you. A lot of people's probably gonna think my choice is silly, but I have many reasons for it. It would be my standard 22 long rifle Marlin. Very simple, very cheap, very deadly, very accurate. You can get one of these for a couple hundred bucks. Throw you a little cheap scope on it. I can't see, so I always use a scope. 22, again, it's going to be a very, very common round that you are going to find. This thing will kill anything that you need it to kill. Birds, rabbits, deer, hogs, etc etc shot placement guys you need to get your weapon know how to use it be able to hit what you are shooting at all right it don't matter if you got 5,000 rounds if you can't hit it all of those rounds do you no good put me within 100 yards and this little bullet right here and i got no problem killing anything out there i've used these guns my whole life 22 long rifle become proficient in the use of the gun. You can't go wrong having one of these. I can carry 5,000 of these or 1,000 of these. Which one do you want? How much of that rabbit is gonna be left if you hit him with a 5.56 high-powered rifle? How much is gonna be left of a bird you're trying to eat? Not a lot if you're using too big of a round and that's the only thing you've got. This little round will take care of anything that you need. All right, 22 long rifle, you can't go wrong. Now for all y'all that stuck around, we'll do a little bonus round here. I like to uh, play a little sports shoot. So, anybody can tell me uh, what this is right here. 
I'll have a little gift for you. All right. Y'all see that? Tell me what that is in the comments below, and uh, I'll have a little prize for you. All right. Again, guys, gun safety, gun safety, gun safety. I don't care how long you've been doing it, practice gun safety. Remember, buy NATO rounds. It's gonna be the most common round that you're gonna find. And if you're able to put that bullet where you need it to go, I don't care what anybody says, it will stop whatever it is you're shooting. All right, be proficient in your weapon. That's kind of it for now, guys. Just a roundabout, the weapons that I think you should have and why you should have them. Very common, that's gonna be the thing. May not be able to find the rounds right now, but later on, there will be ammo around. And you wanna have a very common caliber of gun to use that ammo. Any questions, guys, as always, my email is in the about page. Be sure and hit the uh, subscribe button down below. Uh, Give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything. Thanks for watching. We're going to step out here and uh, show you the AR. Thanks, guys. One of the questions I often get asked is, how much ammo do I need? As long as they sell it, guys, buy it. Let's go, Brandon.